Hey, what is going on guys, and it is your boy Venix here today, and what I have for you guys is a little de strike in the background, nothing too exciting, but today, what you guys are here for are three tips on how to improve your gameplay and get de strikes more frequently, so let's not waste any time, let's get into number one, and that is play in a party. Uh, a lot of you guys don't play in parties, I see these solo players sweating it up with a fallout or a bunker buster going for these nukes and having no luck. It's a lot more beneficial and it's a lot of help if you have someone on your team who kind of knows what they're doing. Now, with parties, typically you don't want to go over a certain number for a certain game mode. So, for example, I try to keep uh, Team Deathmatch under a two-man party, so myself and one other person. And when you're in these TDM games, you want someone who can get UAVs and counters consistently. However, you want someone as well who's not going to take all your kills. So, if you're a good enough player but you're just not getting nukes consistently enough, bring someone else in with you to help back you up and get these UAVs and counters and you know who's not gonna hog the kills as well so just keep that in mind and for domination uh, I would kind of keep it around a three four at the absolute most and like a six-man party if you're spawn trapping or whatever but if you do that you're a fucking loser yeah guys that is tip number one as I said we're keeping this short simple and quick give you guys these tips all right number two coming in is play the outskirts of the map and if you guys don't know what that means that means don't run into the middle of the map all right there are exceptions of course there's exceptions of every rule however don't run into the middle of the map unless you have an advanced UAV up or you know 100% where all the enemies are okay or if they're just completely completely thumbness or if your gun skills up there are scumpy all right but most of the time, the rule of thumb is keep to the outskirts of a map. I can't tell you guys how many times I've seen just players run mindlessly into the middle of a map because they see a couple of red dots on the mini-map, alright? You need to think about it smart, you need to play strategic, and one of the best ways to do that is keeping your back to a piece of cover or a wall. This will eliminate you from getting shot in the back, and if you run into the middle of a map, you're exposed from multiple angles, there's multiple lines of sight, you got windows looking down on you a lot of the time. If you transverse the map, through the outskirts, you'll be able to pick off a couple kills here and there, and this isn't a guide on how to get really quick de strikes, this is just a guide how to get consistent de strikes if you guys are struggling, so tip number two, stick to the outsides of the map. Coming in with our final tip, and a lot of you guys might not know this, some of you definitely will, is use the Synaptic Rig. I know I'm not using it in the gameplay, I'm actually using Merc's Kinetic Armor with the Infusion, uh, faster health regeneration, and this was really good, this probably was my favourite rig to run, however Kinetic Armor got a huge nerf, so now I've been running the Synaptic Rig, and I really wish I was running it a lot earlier. And reason for this is the Synaptic is actually known as the skinny bot within the community. What I mean by this is that the player model of the Synaptic rig is a lot slimmer than any other player model within the entire game. It's gotten to the point where MLG and competitive gaming uh, in Call of Duty has banned competitive players from using this rig in tournaments. And even within the infected game mode with Infinite Warfare, no one is allowed to use the Synaptic rig whatsoever. It's completely unfair, it's completely broken, and I'm sure we're going to get around to fixing it sometime soon. But abuse it while you can, guys definitely use it and the uh what's it called the fucking whoa fuck there's too many fucking shit in this fucking game Ah, uh, yeah, that's what they're called, VR payloads, yes, so you actually get the rewind payload, well, that's what you'd be using if you guys are going for nukes, you guys don't really want to use the equalizers, which are the uh, akimbo scythes, pretty much from Black Ops 3, but rewind is very similar to glitch, actually, from Black Ops 3, and it's absolutely insane, it takes you back five seconds ago where you were, it's kind of like an oh shit panic button, and just pulls you out of any sticky situation, and on top of that, it uh, fills up your magazine and your gun, so it just gives you ammo as well, it's absolutely insane. Let me know if this video helped any of you guys out, I'm sure a lot of you more advanced call of Duty players like myself would know a lot of these tips and strategies and whatnot, so it was definitely directed towards the less experienced community. Hopefully, you guys can get your deatomizer strikes more consistently now. Hopefully, each and every one of you learned something. If you guys did, drop a like on today's video, comment, rape, and subscribe. Don't do the second last one. And as always, have a marvelous day.